All right, there's just one more truth to cover. Let's review it in pictures. We saw that God wants a relationship with us. He created us for this relationship. But our sin separates us from God, and every day we're pulled further and further away. We can't even begin to move toward God. But by God's mercy and His grace, He took care of our sin problem in the person and work of Jesus Christ. But I don't know if you've noticed, we haven't yet been restored to relationship with God. Just because Jesus came and died on the cross doesn't mean it does anything for us. And that's the essence of truth number four. Here's what the Bible teaches, that we need to turn to Jesus Christ. The Bible calls that putting our faith in Jesus. And when we do this, then we're restored to relationship with God. Here's how Peter says it in Acts chapter 2, in the very first sermon he ever preached. He says, everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. And then in Acts chapter 3, he says this, Turn to God so that your sins may be wiped out and that times of refreshing may come from the Lord. And we see from this that Jesus did all the work, but we still have to respond. And that's truth number four. Here it is in the booklet. Truth number four, our response is faith. Think of it like this. Imagine that a friend bought you a new car. He went to the dealer, paid in full, and left the car there. The gift is ready for you but it's not yours until you go get it. That's what Jesus did when he died and rose again. He bought the gift of forgiveness and new life, the gift of relationship with God, but you have to go get it. And you do that by putting your faith in Jesus. Now, maybe you've heard of that word before. Maybe it means a bunch of different things to you. Let's look at what it looks like to put your faith in Jesus according to the Bible. There are two things. First of all, faith starts with the right information. You have to have the right Jesus. You need to make sure you believe in the Jesus of the Bible. And that's why we spent some time in The Last Truth talking about this. Here's what it says in Romans 10, 9. If you declare with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Notice how specific this is. You have to put your trust in the Jesus of the Bible to be saved. It can't be some general idea of God. It can't be some generic concept about religion. We put our faith in the person and work of Jesus Christ. So it's important to know that we have the right one. But there's also a second side to faith. And the Bible calls that the right attitude. Now the fancy word is actually repentance. Again, to Acts chapter 3, Peter said, repent then and turn to God. So repentance is turning toward God in faith. It's having the proper attitude toward God. Now, the attitude of faith says, I've changed my mind about Christ. I accept him as my Savior and Lord. It's a new direction, a new orientation of a person's life toward Christ. And this attitude is part of a fundamental change in the life of a believer. It's not just on the surface. This is the heart part of faith. Now, before we go on to the last video, why don't you pause as a group and evaluate yourselves and talk a little bit about this. Do you know the right information? That's the first part of faith. And do you have the right attitude toward your sin and toward Jesus? Talk about that before we go on to the last and important video talking about the defining moment that we have.